Okay, I have the next wizarding trunk. This is their bi-monthly and we have a new box for them. So that's exciting. It says the wizarding trunk presents the Allery up to no good. It looks like a trunk, which is fun. Got some runes here. First class owl post, vial and cantum. Some other stuff like burn it looks like the sorting hat and a book. I shall not tell lies. The wizarding trunk, their socials. I think those might be Quidditch balls, because there's some brooms. Fragile Magical Delivery. Uh, a hand. LB Hearts RW Lavender Brown loves Ron Weasley. That's funny. Widdershins Joke Shop. Then the bottom just kind of looks like a scratched up bottom of a trunk. That's fun. They got a new box. Let's see if there's good stuff inside. Ooh, a shirt. We haven't gotten a shirt from them in a while. So this says Potions Club. Kind of like the color. It's a different color that I feel like I haven't really seen so much in subscription box shirts, but I kind of like it. So there's the front with the potions club on the side. Oh yeah, the back with all, well, with some potions. This potions club has a symbol with a little cauldron underneath. Yeah, I like this. I'll totally wear this. I know this color may not be to everybody's liking, but I like it. Um, I see boxes and bags and bags and boxes. Let's do the little box first. Bigger box than I was expecting. So potions class, so I'm expecting a lot of, oh. Uh, okay. In a little sealed thing. What is going on? What is that stuff inside there? I don't know, just stuff in there? It just kind of looks like toothpaste. <laughs> and then a potion bottle and Gilly Tonic, an aid to underwater breathing by Pure Blood Apothecary. That's not very much liquid for such a big bottle though. Plant stuff, it is. Oh, oh okay, okay, and rocks. <laughs> so it's like a build your own basically, I guess, is, is what they're going for here. They gave us some little gillyweed that I guess you can stuff in there and you can toss these rocks in the bottom. I guess just dump this. I don't understand why there's uh, white stuff inside of the green liquid. I don't know. I have mixed feelings on this one. Let's go for something not a box. Calming Drought Number Two, a product of Alchemy for the Skin. Ingredients: sea salt, hibiscus, lavender, pink Himalayan salt, rose petals, and calendula flowers. I don't know if that's how you say that. What's it for though? It's like for a bath, maybe. That's uh, very very floral, and I'm actually not. I'm not somebody who's really a fan of super floral scents, so not crazy about the way that smells, but it'll look nice on a potions ingredient shelf. Eh, meh. It's, it's just kind of meh for me. It, it's all right. Nothing wrong with it. Whatever. <laughs> I have a beat up tea light. Let's try this box. Maybe it goes with something in a box. Maybe it goes under a cauldron. Interesting. <laughs> Oh. Uh huh. Okay. We have a little stand here. It's a little hole for the tea light. Mine is a bit, a little bit beat up. This is not like heavy or anything. It's a little bit cheap feeling. Okay, and this is like a ceramic little cauldron thing that I guess is supposed to hang here. I'm a little confused by this and I don't think I like it. I don't think a tea light's gonna do very much for it. Maybe that's what this is for. Maybe you're supposed to like dump that in there and it just like emits a nice scent kind of a thing. Like kind of like a wax burner. Perhaps its uses will become clear, but right now uh, I don't know what this is for and I'm not particularly impressed. The little cauldron by itself is kind of cute. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think they put it in a plastic bag because it's definitely covered in whatever oil is in here. If you ever get a leaking potion, but the label is not damaged, but it's wet, don't wipe, dab. Mixture number 76, armadillo bile. Number 682, orange blossom squeezable wax melt. Oh, this must go with that potion hanging thing. Let's see what it's, oh, um. Yeah, it smells orangey. I don't mind the scent. I'm not like crazy about citrus, but I don't mind it. I don't know how to feel about this wax melt thing. 
Um, wouldn't have been my first choice of scent, but it's definitely not bad. Like, it, it smells pretty good. Still not sure how I feel about the little hanging thing, though. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay. Black Lacewing Flies from Authentic Black Lacewing Flies from Pure Blood Apothecary. Only the purest of potions. Oh. Okay, cute little themed box. Yeah, they're like little fake. I mean, they just look like houseflies. Uh, okay, next thing. Ooh, brass scales from Warwick's Premium Potioneer Equipment. From Wizardry Workshop and the Wizarding Trunk, apparently. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, finally, <laughs> here we go. Oh my goodness, if I just wait. Okay, we have the base, which is scratched up. This goes in here. So there's our little base. Just put them on like so. So they're not balanced, which is slightly annoying. We have our little weights to measure things against. 10 gems, so 10 grams, 5 grams. It's two. This also says two. And this says one these measure up the same. Yeah, that's about where the balance point was on here. I like this item, but I wish it was balanced. The base is, is a bit beat up for me, but I guess it gives it kind of a used look. This is fun. I'm not blown away, but it's not bad. Oh, I see a pen. Living Death. It is very purpley. I like, I actually like the colors of it. it. Gives me that like Halloween vibe with the skull in there that seems to be falling apart. It's uh, not a bad pen. Bone Regen. Galley Pots Apothecary. Magical Remedies and Healing. Okay. Ingredients. Mandrake Leaves. Porcupine Quills. Black Lacewing Flies. We have some bad tangled golden glow seeds. Powdered Human Bone. And Giant Spider Venom. Okay. I like this. Um, I, I like this little bottle. I'm a fan. This is a good, I like this. Ooh, another portrait pen. I love these portrait pens. This appears to be their take on Snape. Love that. Yes, I'm obsessed with these portrait pens. I love them in the house pride box of all the house founders. If you're after portrait pens, I think all of the ones they've done so far might be in their shop. I like it. We have a key of sorts. A key to the potions cabinet. It says P.S. Professor Slughorn. So this is probably some liquid luck there. Interestingly, there's nothing on the back. Like it's just flat. That's new. So it's like not really a key. Interesting choice to not make this like an actual key. That's so weird. Why bother that you could have, you probably could have just left this out. <laughs> so we have a print. Ooh, okay. That's kind of nice. Just like a little potions station, your little potions class. Yeah. All right. We have preparation of the Wolf's Bane potion. Oh. Are they going to do another binder thing? I don't think I want that. <laughs> this tells you how to make some Wolf's Bane. So you can help out Professor Lupin. There we go. And here, this is the cheat sheet on the back. Preparation of Gilly Tonic. Oh, is this telling us how to prepare our potion that they gave us? When brewed properly, this tonic will allow you to breathe underwater for a limited amount of time. Stones collected from the body of water you intend to swim in. Oh, well, what body of water were those stones? Where can I swim with this then? <laughs> Where'd you get those stones? Combine your silver with infusion of wormwood. For ease, these ingredients were combined for you and included in the same vial. Yeah, so that's supposed to be silver in there. It looks like toothpaste. So that's what we do with that. That actually kind of, I wasn't sure about that when I opened the box of stuff. Yeah, I think I can get behind that. Let's look at our cheat sheet here. The Wizarding Trunk presents Potions Class. Welcome to Potions Class, students. The Gilly Tonic recipe for the potion you'll be making today is on the back of this card. Let's get class started and brew greatness. Potions Club t-shirt. This super soft shirt is only available for members of the Potions Club, designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. 
Cauldron Wax Warmer, designed to make your room smell just like the potion you're brewing. Armadillo Bile Wax Melts. A few drops of this squeezable wax melt into your new wax warmer, warmer will fill your room with the amazing scent of armadillo bile or orange blossom created for us by Inflammare Candles. Portrait pen. This portrait hangs in the dungeon and oversees your potions classes. Potion Storeroom Key. This key allows you access to the Potion Master's private storeroom, designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Potions Class Print. A view from your desk during Potions Class, created by Queen Mab. Wolfsbane Recipe Page. A page torn right out of Perfect Potions, designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Black Lacewing Flies. A staple for your potions kit or shelf. Box designed by Wizardry Workshop, filled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Bone Regen Potion. This healing potion mends and strengthens broken bones. It can also regrow vanished bones entirely. Living Death Pin. I dare say one drop would kill us all. Designed for us by JP Mistlecrow. Gilly Tonic DIY Kit. It's time to brew your Gilly Tonic to breathe underwater. We can't wait to see the bottles that you make. Decorate them however you like and tag us with hashtag TWT Potions class on Instagram. Label designed by Wizardry Workshop. Kit prepared by Pure Blood Apothecary. This liquid should not be consumed. Vintage Brass Scales. Scales from Warwick Potion Supplies are a necessity when weighing potion ingredients. Box, des box design by Wizardry. I feel like they're missing a word. Box designed by Wizardry Workshop. Calming Drought Bath Potion. This mixture by Alchemy for the Skin contains pink Himalayan salt, hibiscus, lavender, sea salt, rose petals, and calendula flowers. Makes a calming bath and looks great on any potion shelf. Label design by Wizardry Workshop. Next bi-monthly theme, All Hallows Eve on sale August 15th. So on sale now. I'm kind of excited for that. I hope it's really good. I don't know why, but I'm just like extra excited for Halloween this year. There's all that. Overall, I feel like this box was okay. Yeah, it's all right. So let's see. What is my favorite and least favorite? I really, really like these portrait pins. So this portrait pin of Snape is one of my favorites. I really liked the shirt as well. I have mixed feelings about this bone regen stuff. Cause why regen? <laughs> Why are we shortening words? Least favorite is probably this uh, this bath stuff and this weird key. I don't understand why it's flat on the back. Overall, it was a pretty okay box. What did you guys think? Did you get this box? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Were you middle of the road with it like me? Did you already make your gilly tonic? Let me know. Okay, bye.